okay so now this is how to use this mask too so a lot of my students are finding it very difficult to use this mask too but this mask too is very simple to use it's very very simple if you can understand how to use it so now if you draw a shape import a shape maybe i want to make a curve this mask too will help you to make a curve you can see some flyers there's some flyers that's there's a kind of curve they will give to the flyer and it's only this max tool that will help you to make that curve here okay so we are going to use max tool on this shape now so i'm going to tell you how to use that max tool so what you can use this max tool to do let me show you something things you can do with this max tool how it is very important to know the use how to use it if you look at this design this particular design now this curve you can see this curve here as in this curve i made down at the down part lower part of it i used mask to to make that curve you can see how the thing was called the as in the green parts in the, um, in the background sorry let me let me show you the main work okay you can see this green part the down down area this curve i mean i used I, I did it with that max too that's the work of that mask too you can make any curve as in for the templates of your design you can use it to make a curve so you have to know how to use this max too so now if you if you if you draw a shape then let's go to our max too this is a mask too now so you can own this thing on it so you can see other functions here so this one you can see okay wait let me on my assistive touch so you can be seeing what i'm doing let me on my assistive touch so you can be seeing what i'm actually i'm showing you where i'm pressing and how i did it okay it's on now Okay, so now you can see these functions here. This one is if you want to drag this anchor point, you want to drag it. This line, you can see these two lines that's produced here. This is the what I'm selected. I'm I'm here. So this one is if I want to move this thing, this whole thing around. You can click here. Okay, let's click here. If you, you want to move it, this one is moving it. Are you seeing it? So then this one, if I want to add another point to this maybe i want to add another point to this anchor points here i want to add another point i'll just, I'll just click okay sorry that first one is mm, sorry okay i have to click on this is remove you want to remove any point you want to remove any points okay let me close everything I want to start from the beginning okay i want to use mask to here then if you own it okay mm -hmm. oh yeah hey, it have appeared so look at this thing now this one is to remove the point and this is add another point you can see we have four anchor points here we have our four anchor points so if i want to add here i can click here this one is added this is remove okay let me remove it are you seeing it now so to use it to use this a mask to now maybe i want to make it um, fold and drag this are you seeing how i'm dragging it i want to make a curve okay but mind you this one you don't like this one now i can i can play along with this i can move this point but this one that is inside you don't move this point this as in this two line you don't touch it don't touch it if you touch it the, it won't be curved that space will not be curved again if you look at here now if you look at this place now as i move it like this it, that place that particular place will not be curved okay so you're not going to move the point this two line here or this one or the middle one or you can move you can move all, all these ones i see it so now i want to make a curve now okay maybe i want to you can move it and drag it inside i see it make sure this inside this one that is inside will be straight so that it will give you a perfect curve then you can play along with this one that is outside you can play along with this one that's outside you can make it like this maybe i want something like this i want something that is let me say 
something like this I see it maybe I want something like this I can mark okay maybe me sorry so you can see after it I will press out so this one in is an in now it means that this inside will be deleted so if we put it out the outer part will be deleted and the inner one will be left so we want this inner curve so you have to change it to out i see now you have gotten this curve now so look at this curve now so this is how i use it okay now i want to make another curve maybe i want to add a template i want to design a template i want to so we can do something like this something like this can serve as a template for your design something like this can serve as a template for your design you can do something like this and use it as a template sorry something like this can serve as a template you can mark it and drag it just drag it i seen it it can serve as a template this is a perfect template you can lock it this is as a template I seen it so that's how to use this max too. so another one I want to teach you guys is how to mask an image inside a shape okay let me draw a shape now let me draw a shape let me say okay maybe I have okay let me draw a circle okay let me draw a circle let me give you this color yeah let me draw a circle and give you this color okay okay here is the circle now okay let me import an image i want this image i want okay let me import the image first let me import the image sorry i want to import an image go to your gallery i want a png a png is image without a background okay let me import this one Okay, on it here. Okay, let me see. I want this one. I want from here. I want from there to be inside this circle, and this face will be coming out. I want this part to enter inside this circle. Then here will be coming out. So how do I get? How do I do this now? So see how I'm going to do it. First of all, I'm going to draw a shape. I under shape. I see it. I'm going to make this shape to cover everywhere to cover everywhere i see how i'm doing this then i'll mark make sure the okay and i'm going to go to my layer then i'll drag this i'll drag this shape down i want to keep it here i see it it should be under this uh -huh. i should be under make it to be under yeah then after it now i'm going to merge that shape with this circle merge it with this circle those two shapes merge it together i think both of them i'll merge it i'll merge it okay yeah they are on okay i'll have to bring it down uh, yeah or well, let me leave it at the top yeah so now i'm selecting this one this merge one i see this first one i'm select i'm on it now then you go to your erase color go to erase color erase color on it then if you own it, you have to click here. This this, this eyedropper. Click on it. If you click on them, pick this red color. Then mark good. I see it. It has erased that part, that circle. It's have, I see now we are seeing this woman now. This woman is under. You can see this woman is under. If you look at the layer, the woman is under this our shape. So you can see this woman now. So okay, let's change the color of our main background so we can be seeing the color of our main background. Okay, here is where you change your main background color i see it okay let's okay let's give it a transparent yeah let's give it a transparent for now okay so you can see now this image now this one this one is the one we merged with the circle then it leaves that circle i see it all right so now i'm going to okay let me lock it i'm going to lock it so this woman now i'm going to duplicate this woman this particular i'm going to duplicate it duplicate it go to your recent copy ahead so under woman can you see it now i will come and press it here okay let me of the let me let me of this way i can make the both of them together first i have to make them so that can they can match together yeah 
they have matched together now okay let me on this my listen okay so i'm going to crop out this part so i've sorry 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 i have made a mistake let me hold this so i can see it where we made the both of them together they match together it's correct so okay let me lock it let me lock this first one okay so i'm going to use let me on my listen okay so this one now i'm going to use my mask too on this now i'm going to use my mask too so if you all your mask to on it i seen it now just it days the inner part select that part i seen it i've erased it then you come on it i seen it now then i can oh i have made a mistake sorry okay i seen it now so this is how i i do it okay now i can change the color of that main background let me change the color of the main background to like to like red no red yeah i've used it before let me choose another color like orange okay yeah this is okay i seen it i have masked this image inside that shape so this is how it is being done no matter how many shape i use you can still do it you can place like three shape together merge it with the shape then import that image inside i seen it so that's how we merge it with use of this mask too